There I am. It's a real joy to see such a full sanctuary, to see so many of you able to make it out here this evening. You may have noticed I am not Ronnie Anderson. I am Pastor Matthew, for any of those of you that haven't met me yet. I'm the associate pastor here at Caldwell and the pastor at the Academy Church. So I get the joy of of being here and, and watching this program and seeing it grow over the short time that I've been there. There's now, I believe, over 75% of the student body that is involved in the music program at Gem State. And that's a really cool thing to say. I just want to put a little, little bug in your ear as we're going through this program today. A little white envelope. If you're blessed by the program, if you want to encourage, if you want to encourage these students and, and support it as they're trying to build it up and continue to grow this, this is a great way to do that. There's more details on the very back of your, of your bulletin here today, and I would just really um, encourage you to have that Christmas spirit as we enter in. Before we join, let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you with joy today. We are excited for the music here this evening. We are excited to see these students as they have put all this practice in, as they put all this energy in, as they, as they have so much excitement themselves to come and perform and worship and glorify you. Lord, we pray that you send your spirit here this evening to be with the students, to be with Mr. Anderson. Lord, to be with us all. Lord, that in this moment we can have the spirit of peace, remembering the Christmas season and what it's all about. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Mr. Anderson, over to you. Good evening once again, and happy Sabbath. Uh, as we start our Christmas program this evening, we're going to start with the choir. Um, I've got to do one more thing, uh, adding on to what Pastor Matthew said about the little envelopes in there. There's a special Christmas tree right back there that um, if you feel so inclined to give, um, we would appreciate if you go pin it right on the tree. It's a fun little decorating thing. It's always more enjoyable that way. So we can decorate that Christmas tree all together, um, and thank you for uh, whatever you're willing to help us out with. The first song we're going to sing for you tonight is I Saw Three Ships. This is the choir, and um, a couple notes about it. It's an old Christmas carol. It talks about ships coming into harbor. And like as soon as I gave the kids this uh, song in class, their first question was, well, Bethlehem's landlocked. How does that work? And so I had to go, well, I have no idea. And so they threw some ideas out at me, and you're right. Um, a lot of people think it's referring to the three camels, which are called the ships of the desert. That's what people think it is. Or um, the three kings, which would also make sense, because the nearest harbor is like 20 miles away from Bethlehem. So anyway, I saw three ships come sailing in, a fun, enjoyable piece to get our evening started.
Our next, thank you for laughing, I appreciate it. <laughs> Our next song we're going to uh, play for you tonight is Away in a Manger. If you are an astute program goer and you look to your program, you may see that there are two Away in a Mangers. Alas, they're not the same. They are two versions of Away in a Manger. There's Away in a Manger, and then there's Away in a Manger. It took me forever to realize that. I always thought they were the same song. They are not. So, as a little kid, not now, I, I know the difference now. <laughs> so, um, this is our beginning bells group, Ripples. Uh, they meet two days a week, and they've been doing a lot of fun things. This is a... Um, can be a little bit complicated for them, but they're knocking it out of the park. It's really come together these last couple days. And so we hope you enjoy a way in a manger. All right, the next two pieces for you are by the band. We have a growing band population, which is good, I suppose. Um, the first piece, uh, I majored in instrumental, so it's good, um, is Farandole. I'm sure you've heard this before. Um, if you don't recognize the name, you will probably recognize the tune. It's a very famous arrangement by Georges Bizet, uh, arranged by Paul Barker. 
And um, otherwise known as March of the Three Kings, it's from an opera that is French, so I can't say it, but I'm going to try. It's Larlazine, Larlazine, something like that. Um, and apparently the opera was not very popular, but this song was a hit immediately. And so it's a triumphant Christmas overture, Ferendel. And then the second song we'll be playing for you, we're going straight into it, uh, is Still, 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 arranged by Randall Standridge. And um, it's an Austrian Christmas carol and lullaby, originating in Salzburg, Austria, which is really cool. And the words, which there will be none because it's banned, but uh, the words describe the peace of an infant Jesus and his mother as the baby's sung to sleep. And the band is doing an awesome job. And there's a really cool thing that uh, Mr. Standridge does in his arrangement is he flips the script. So the band is accompanying the percussion in one section. So the percussion has a melody. So see if you can find that spot. It's really neat. So here is the band.
Here I am again. Cool. The next three songs will be by the choir. This is our large choir. We have 42 souls in it this year, which is pretty incredible to me. Um, yeah, they're pretty handsome. Anyway, uh, the three songs we're singing, Of the Father's Love Begotten is the first one. I wasn't sure this was a Christmas song when I looked it up. There's varying opinions. I think it is. Written around 413 AD by a man named Prudentius. What a name. Um, a civil servant who had dedicated his life to serving his community, and he got to be retiring age, I guess, nowadays, and he retired, and he decided that his life had been a waste, so he dedicated the rest of his life to writing music. And this is one of, he wrote a hymn for every day of the week or every day of the month, and this is one of his best-known ones, of the Father's Love Begotten. So it's a beautiful hymn, or in Latin, Corde Natus Experentis, which is cool. The next one will be Away in a Manger, the other version, as I mentioned earlier. This will feature Ellie Borg on the violin, which is really cool. I'm super excited to have her here. And it's slow and beautiful, just like the first. And the third one is not slow and beautiful, as you can see by the name, Mary Sad or Rockin'. It does mean rockin', okay? Uh, written and arranged by Greg Gilpin, this fun dance-like song is joyous, jazzy version of the story of Jesus' birth. So that's a cappella, and we hope you enjoy these two. Now, before I go any farther, I have to mention a fantastic person I get to work with. Um, she's over there on the piano, Miss Leanna McMullen. She is fantastic. So she graciously came in, and she's our accompanist this year, and the kids like her a lot, I hope, and I like her a lot, and we have been doing a lot of fun music. So um, here's the choir for these three songs.
rockin', rockin' all night. Mary's had a rockin' her baby. Oh, Mary's had a rockin', rockin' all night. Mary's had a rockin' her baby. Mary's had a rockin', oh, rockin' all night. Mary's had a rockin', rockin' her baby. Oh, Mary's had a rockin', oh, rockin' all night. Mary's had a rockin' her baby. Isn't that fun? Yeah, that's a fun one. It is sacred. <laughs> um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, reverb. I was not expecting that. That was kind of fun. <laughs> uh, the next group you'll be hearing from is our Soundwave, which is our advanced bells group. And um, they played last weekend on the float, the Gem State Adventist Academy float in the Caldwell Parade, if you got to watch them there. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> They played Jingle Bell Rock <clears throat> and wore lots of ugly sweaters. So that was a lot of fun. Um, we've been preparing for a lot of things, including that. So this is uh, a Christmas concert tune. This is one of them. Uh, God rest you, Mary gentlemen. A classic at Christmas, of course. Everybody uh, has their own arrangement. And this is a, a simpler one, but a fun one. And um, it's just a reminder that Jesus was born for us. Tidings of comfort and joy. Comfort and joy, oh, tidings of comfort and joy. So uh, as we're getting set up here, I will play trivia with you. No, I'm just kidding. We'll just sit in silence.
Is not actually a group I teach. This is a violin duet of two fantastic violinists. One is a senior, one is a freshman. And so while I have them both here, I want to get them playing as much as I can. Um, I did not play strings. I do not ever plan to play strings, but I had to pass a class in college. Violin is so hard. You have no idea. If you've tried it, maybe you have an idea, but oh my goodness, I can play all the brass, I can play most of the woodwinds, Strings are a whole different world. Can't do it. I was okay at cello, I take that back. But anyway, sorry, I'm yakking. I thought you'd take longer. Okay. Well, they're playing for Unto Us a Child is Born, uh, written by G.F. Handel, George Frederick Handel, Handel, however you want to say it. And this is actually taken from the Messiah, the, the same um, thing that, uh, wow, words, that the Hallelujah Chorus is taken from. So it's not as well known, um, but it quotes Isaiah 9, 6, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, a verse we all know well. So as you listen, I encourage you to um, ponder those words and enjoy a wonderful violin duet.
Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> the next group you'll hear from tonight is a group we just started this year. It's a select choir known as Chorale. Um, I understood it's been here in the past, hasn't been here, been on and off. So we're bringing it back again. They've been a lot of fun to work with. These are awesome kids that love to sing. And so we're doing a couple songs for you tonight. The first one, I Wonder As I Wander, um, often a forgotten uh, Christmas tune. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why, it's just not as popular. But anything written by John Rutter, I want to do. Because John Rutter is amazing. So this is one of his pieces, of course. It's a cappella, and um, it has a soloist. He was reluctant at first, but he's doing it. J.V. Hidalgo right there in the front. Woo! He has a beautiful voice, for those of you that don't know. Um, so this piece stretches my singer's ears. They have to listen really carefully and to each other, and there's only 19 of them, so they have to really be aware of what's going on. And then the second one, There is Faint Music. Dan Forrest is another one of these composers that I could do all of his pieces and be happy. So... Uh, yeah, there's faint music in the night, um, and I can't remember the words now, but he writes shimmering harmonies and powerful melodic lines. The melody is just gorgeous in this piece. And so, there's not a lot of songs that I can go, I've never heard that melody before. This is one of those. I've never heard it before. It's gorgeous. You'll be blown away by it. Um, this one is accompanied, and anyway, hope you enjoyed these two pieces.
realizing as we started singing, I'm missing one of my basses. He apparently broke his wrist today. So that's unfortunate. Um, poor Declan. <laughs> so we will all remember him in soul and in spirit. And he's not here with us. But anyway, that's why. Anyway. Next is band again with some Hark the Herald Angels Sing. This is a fun version. It's a little more jazzy. They've been asking to play jazz all year. I'm not sure they count this as jazz, but I count it as jazz. Um, <clears throat> it's stretching them in ways that they didn't think it would. There's a lot of offbeats in this song, and so they're, 
having to learn how to play off beats and stay together when they're all in the same rhythm. And uh, they're also learned today about how different rooms sound different. So nerd moment, the band room probably has a second of reverb. You say something and it's like dead. In here, it's much more live. If we had a harder floor, it would be even more live. If you've ever been to the cathedral, you know what I'm talking about. And so they actually have to play a little shorter than they thought they did to in, in, in order for us to get the sound we want in here. So it was a little lesson today as we rehearsed in here. And so um, we hope you enjoy Hark the Herald Angels Sing, a little different version than you're used to. All right, second to last song. Catalonian Carol, once again, the sound wave, uh, the Advanced Bells group, otherwise known as the song Fum Fum Fum. Yep. Uh, it's set in F minor, if you wanted to know that, and it's a lively showcase of their abilities. There's a lot of theories about what Fum 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 means. One of them is that it's like a Catalan onomatopoeia. Catalonian is, is a... a, a Ethnic, ethnicity, a race of people, I guess. 
It's, where did I put it? Northern part of Spain. That's where the Catalonians reside. So Catalan is a language, or yeah, Catalan. So they think it might be an onomatopoeia for like a guitar strum, boom, 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 or like a drum tap. Or, um, I don't know why this would be it, but it could also mean smoke, because that's their word for smoke. So who knows? Um, but this is a fun one, very recognizable, and a lot of fun to listen to. So we hope you enjoy it.
Oh, there it is. Okay, now we gotta get all the people. Because we have come to the last one. So, Night of Silence. I have a little something to read while they're all getting situated. Um, this is written by Dan Cantor. If you can't guess, it's Silent Night. Okay? Uh, so, this actually, he's got a whole website dedicated to this one song. That's how impactful it was to his career and his writing and his uh, musical career. So, it's a tale of longing and belonging. He got the spark of the idea when he was sitting in a chapel and he watched the sun come through the windows. And he thought of something, he wanted to compose something that would go over top of or alongside of Silent Night. And uh, if you didn't know, that's called a quad libet in music, when you have a song and then another song on top of it. So this is a quad libet, which is kind of cool. So during this time, he says he was struggling with a sense of self and composing the song was his way of working through the issue. As he, as he composed, ideas came to him, snow sparkling in the small dissonances. You'll hear that at the beginning of the song um, in the piano. And wind, cold, shadows, night, shimmer, and sky are all words that you'll hear uh, as we start singing. And that kind of evokes that cold, uh, dreary vibe. And so uh, he wrote this mirroring it after his Wisconsin home and what it looks like in the wintertime. So you hear a faint silent night melody by the, oh, we also have a flute and a clarinet soloist on this, which is really cool. I'm excited about that. So you'll hear them come in and out playing the, fl the, the, either the theme he wrote or the silent night theme. And then it's just, this is a beautiful piece. If you recall, last year I ended the concert with something similar. It was called Peace, Peace. And it was also a quad libet because it was Peace, Peace over top of Silent Night. I think I'll make this a habit. So uh, we would love if you would join us on the last, well, the second time through Silent Night. You'll hear them go into that. There's two verses. The third verse is Silent Night. We'll repeat it. We'd love if you'd join us singing Silent Night. Oh, and we hope you have a Merry Christmas.
Well, thank you very much. Um, Mr. Soule, would you come pray for us? I put your name in the program, so you have to. You know, my prayer is that this group brought joy to you tonight. And it's incredible that Mr. Anderson did this in less than five months. And that shows you what kind of teachers we have and what kind of students we have. I'm kind of proud right now, so anyway, um, before I have prayer, just a quick note. Go ahead and pin your, your uh, envelopes up on that tree to help support uh, the music program at Gem State. And uh, I just want to say thank you to all of you. You guys are amazing. So let's bow our heads. Father God, my prayer is that we brought you closer to, to earth tonight. I praise you for young people. I praise you for teachers. I praise you for Jim State. Thank you for, uh, for your blessings. Thank you for your joy. In your name, amen.